Well, as you've said, um, I wear two hats, African Union champion for nutrition and of course uh, FAO special ambassador for nutrition. And I've been um, doing that task for the African Union since 2014. And um, one of the first things I was involved in uh, as African Union champion for nutrition was to launch what uh, on the continent we call the Malabo uh, Declaration. This for us uh, as Africans and on the continent is an important document that uh, um, sets out a road map uh, for African countries on how we can redouble our efforts in increasing uh, food security uh, for our nations and, and I hope uh, it is a roadmap that all uh, we, can, we can follow which calls for greater investments in, in agriculture uh, 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 and in particular uh, nutrition sensitive agriculture. And subsequent to that uh, I've um, had a chance to visit um, several African countries uh, as FAO Special Ambassador for Nutrition, starting with uh, Ethiopia, uh, and then uh, Malawi, and this year, and Gambia. Uh, and there again, my task has been uh, to encourage and promote uh, uh, nutrition-sensitive uh, agriculture, and even learn the practices that uh, those countries uh, are, that I can learn from those countries and learn how those countries have immersed themselves and are promoting uh, nutrition sensitive agriculture and, and how they are promoting uh, good nutrition among uh, their population uh, through various uh, initiatives. So I've had uh, the pleasure of, of doing that, uh, and it has been a very worthwhile and fruitful uh, exercise. And uh, I think um, uh, through uh, my advocacy uh, in those countries and in other uh, fora and in other platforms, I uh, have managed to, to raise the profile of the issue of nutrition and uh, I'm hoping I'm making a difference uh, and hoping that I can persuade uh, governments and organizations to invest more uh, in the fight against malnutrition in all its forms. Recently, uh, uh, a few weeks ago, in conjunction with the World Bank uh, this time, we were in Maseru um, addressing uh, the issues of child nutrition. So uh, a lot of work is taking place and uh, uh, I'm hoping that uh, all, the, all of these initiatives and what all this advocacy work I'm undertaking will uh, make a difference. And I do have no doubt that um, with the, the right policies, uh, with the right political, the necessary political will, um, zero hunger can be achieved and is in, indeed achievable uh, by 2030 uh, throughout the world and, and specifically on the African continent. We just have to do the right thing and take appropriate actions now rather than later.